Like with any powered appliance, your computer needs electricity to function. But unlike many simpler appliances, such as razors or light bulbs, your computer needs different amounts of electricity in different places. This is what a power supply is for. The first thing a power supply does is converts alternating current into direct current. If you want to know a bit more about electricity, you can check out my video on how batteries work, but for now, all you need to know is that electricity is the flow of electrons. Alternating current is when these electrons flow back and forth like water sloshing in a bathtub, while direct current is when the flow stays in one direction like a river. Alternating current is great for the large electrical grid of power lines, but it doesn't really work that well for actual appliances. This is why most appliances have these big boxes on their power cables. That box extracts alternating current from your power outlet and converts it into direct current for your appliance to use. It also manages how much electricity is fed to the device so that it doesn't get overloaded. So while your computer's power supply does do this, it also manages which levels of current go to which components. Powering the tiny little switches and capacitors that let your RAM store data or your processor do math takes very little electricity. But powering a motor that makes the cooling fans or disk drives turn takes a good bit more. So the power supply takes all that electricity from the wall, stores a good healthy amount of it, and then distributes the power amounts based on the needs of the components. The main three voltages are 3.3, 5, and 12. The first two being used mostly for circuitry, and the last being used for fans and disk drives. If the needs of these devices change, small calculators in the computer's motherboard talk to the power supply and let it know. Like with anything that stores a lot of electricity, power supply units get very hot. This is why they come with built-in fans to push hot air away from the circuitry and bring cool air in. This is one reason it can be good for you to keep your computer slightly elevated, as for many power supplies, the intake is pointed down. So that's how a computer's power supply actually works. Electricity itself is a pretty fascinating subject, so if you have any interest in learning about it, you can let me know in the comments, and as always, liking and subscribing are always a huge help. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.